No, you're like, I just want to make sure. Oh my God. Okay, now, what's your name, baby? Uh, my name is Miss Kim, but I go by Jelly Bean or KK. Jelly Bean or KK? Yeah. Jelly Bean or, or KK? How old are you? I am. Wait, wait, what do you want me to call you? Uh, you you could call me Jelly. I oh, prefer Jelly. For you. I'm 32. Girl, you 32 and you still going by your nickname. Yeah, because I don't need everybody knowing my name all the time. Okay, you know, people is crazy. Okay, that's fine. I, I understand it for th that purpose. Jelly, 32, where you live, honey? Where you call me from? Uh, I live in Orlando, Florida, but I'm from Detroit. Okay, and what do you do for a living? I am a care advocate and... Um, Member services health representative. Care advocate and what else? Member services representative. So I work in health insurance. Okay, so so care act so care advocate. What are you doing? Like advocate. I advocate. yeah, like I speak on the behalf of people who are having trouble with their claims or you get paid for prior that? authorization. Yeah, uh, I work from home. Okay, so you work in healthcare. You said right? Correct. Okay. Uh, do you have any kids? Yes, I have two kids. How old are your two kids? Uh, I have a nine-year-old, a girl, and a twelve-year-old, a boy. And Not by the same old? man, um, but my daughter's dad died, and he was actually a father to both my son and, and his child, the daughter. Okay, so two men, but one. Alexa, pause. I'm sorry. I wanted to make sure you could hear me. Okay, so by two men but one raised both yes and the man that raised both passed away yes he died four years ago just before covid hit oh that's so sad sorry you went through that but were you guys married you. no we were not but we were engaged we were definitely talking about marriage okay okay You're talking about marriage all right um so what's the zodiac sign i'm an aquarius, aquarius. all right so we got jelly let's stop her for a minute Hell. that's a lot already jelly bean she goes by a grown woman then she claimed she got two baby daddies but one of the baby daddies took care of both of the kids so mm -hmm. now you got there's no daddy of this is just sick yeah, yeah there you go so she she had a baby she's a single mom she moved on then she met this simping brother most likely an unhealthy simping brother they never tell us how they pass away unless it was something violent all right he came in playing dad he gave her a kid and he also was playing stepdad to other kid and then he perished that is so extremely unfortunate i would like to know the context of these men just passing away how is this just the 35 or 42 y'all throwing out like five different ages and i missed it myself but that is wicked they, they well, she's, these up here men always she's gonna say we was engaged and we was talking about marriage if you was engaged, you obviously were getting married. So that's why they'd be sitting here lying. Kendra said, was y'all married? And she stopped and she thought and she said, uh, we we was engaged and we was talking about getting married. Like, stop, on Quisha. Do y'all see why we say they lying? They don't have to admit it, but just listen to how they say it. How, like Gavin said, how you thinking about marriage and you engaged? Y'all could, there's a date. There's a set date to get married. Now, like we was getting married in such and such. And he perished. But no, y'all was probably engaged for three, four, five years and want no marriage happening. Stop the cat. Orlando, Florida. She's a care advocate, works in healthcare, 32. Mom of two kids uh, by two men and never married, correct? No, never married. Never married. And is it a query? Is I got it all. What kind of man are you looking for, sweetheart? Um, I need a reliable man. Um, I need a man of his word. Uh, I don't have a money requirement. I just require that you have your own because I have my own at my own place. It ain't fully done yet because I'm just getting on my feet. Um, but I just require you got a roof over your head. You able to wash your behind and you keep your place clean and you can pay your own bills. Um, if you have children. I don't care how many you have. I would just prefer that you take care of all of them and you see them. Um, we can always coordinate on when we see each other, but I just, 
if you don't see your kids, if you don't have your shit together, if you don't have a job, I don't want to talk to you. Okay. okay. What um, are your deal breakers? Uh, um, deal breakers are lazy, unmotivated, um, no drive, um, too comfortable. Like wherever you are in life, you should always be trying to grow and elevate. Um, I believe in ha having belief in a higher power so you don't necessarily have to have a specific religion um, but you do have to believe in god because i definitely believe in blasting my gospel music early in the morning okay um what about looks should you look a certain way uh, uh i would prefer that you look good like i ain't beyonce you know what i'm saying but i I don't want you out here looking like old dirty bastard. No offense, cause rip OG. But you, you just you you can't. You know you you gotta have yourself put together. Like I like a clean man. You know if you got a beard, you keep it nice and shaved and smooth and cut nice. If you got a, if you got hair, you keep it braided. You keep it cut nice. You always got your hairline. I like a man that smell good. You know what I'm saying? You know how to put on some clothes, cause I love to put on some clothes and go out. I'm all about back having fun you know i don't mind breaking a nail because i have a great nail tech shout out my nail tech jada it's more <laughs> shout out your nail tech okay okay all right so what about money should you make a certain amount of money um, um so i make about 45k a year um before taxes so i prefer that you make that or more okay make 45k or more you said you don't mind if he has kids right no, I don't mind if he has kids. Have your baby mama drama in order, though. Don't don't have that shit me up, cause I. Hell. I'll say this much: she the first woman to come up here and keep it real. She said, "Kendra, I make forty five k before taxes, and you can make the same. We average out here." Salute, sister. Holy hell! There you go, little silver lining, some self awareness and accountability. That's awesome. But here you are. You know, we deem you to be 40 years old and you are talking about you just getting on your feet. You know, make it 42 before taxes. You got two kids. Huh. Again, is this another subliminal cry for help from Bonquisha? Are they up here really looking for love and some kind of relationship? Or are they really just looking for roommates, help and meat hunching? I say the latter. Easy work. So here we go. Hit the like button. Uh, reach out through an alley oop up. Here we go. I promise you, I'm gonna hurt her feelings, and then I'm coming to hurt your feelings. Yeah. All right, let's do the kids with Cam. Uh, you gotta stand up. Yeah. Oh, I see this. Okay. All right, we see them shorts, girl. Yeah, I just, just came, I went to the Megan Thee Stallion concert this weekend. Um, so the shoes that I bought in preparation for the concert, I bought a whole bunch of outfits to go with the shoes because what's the point of buying the shoes if you can't wear them again? <laughs> Shout out to Megan Stallion. Okay. Um, we, Jelly, Jelly, when was your last relationship? Uh, last relationship, I actually just broke up with him three weeks ago. Why? Um, Is that three weeks long enough? Is it over, over? So I I was mentally gone months ago okay. um, due, due to the deal breakers I was telling you about. Um, there were a lot of things that I just, so first of all, I'm bipolar one and two. Um, I found, found out two years ago uh, that we, I was playing with my meds a lot. So I was sick throughout the majority of our relationship. Uh, and recently just got to a point where I'm balanced. So I started telling him, you know, this is what I can't deal with. Like, I need you to do more. And I became his mother instead of his woman. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to put it like that because I don't want to put his business out in the street like that. But, um, yeah, I became his mother. And I just, he's not a bad guy. He just been through a lot of shit. You know, and where we are in life, we can't 
we can't be together right now. And considering all that's been done, that's not a possibility that it's fixable. Okay. Let me ask you this. What are your symptoms of being bi bipolar? What would somebody have to deal with? Um, so I have a short tolerance for bullshit. Uh, uh, some anger management issues. Like I, I don't like repeating myself. Um, I'm very calm, cool, and collected until I find you not giving a fuck like I give a fuck. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? She said, listen, mental health is real, man. Shout out to anybody out there dealing with it. This, is, But this is a dating show, disclaimer. All right? She says she bipolar one and two. Here's the here's my biggest problem with this sister. The confessions are running rampant. She made forty two thousand dollars before taxes. She got two kids. She just getting on her feet. That sounds very desperate. That's a very desperate situation. You are a responsible mother. But we with even all that madness, and you just broke up with a dude weeks ago. Wicked, stanky, funky work. But you still got the time. And the money, the expendable income to go buy outfits and shoes and go to a god dang on ratchet concert. I need somebody to try to make that make sense. I dare y'all. I dare you. Spending money on concert tickets and you still trying to get on your feet? That's why we say lack of discipline. And you got no booty. Lack of discipline. Won't tell yourself no. And this is where y'all get. You don't deserve to go to no concert. You're on financial punishment. Sit down. So here we go. We're going to bring Thanos out, and we're going to keep it moving, folks. Hit the like button. You let him hit it raw. You didn't have second thoughts. I am inevitable. Huh. Tell you what. She said that she got, oh, she ended her last relationship because she was more like her his mom if you are acting like a mom to a dude and you yourself said you got you bipolar one and two i don't even know what that is you know what i'm saying you're talking about you playing with your meds you mixing them up playing you know three-hand monty <laughs> uh, <laughs> that ninja ain't worth a dang I'll tell you that so here we go hit the like button if you're just coming in 